Hola mis amigos y bienvenidos al episodio 27 de nuestra campaña de Isengard. Oh, sorry. Wrong language setting indeed. No, I'm sorry my friends. Welcome back for episode 27 of Isengard campaign in 30 to the war divide and conquer. Last episode we had the battle of Karas Galathon, but the less spoken about that. Well, the better. We lost Karas Galathon after an invasion of about 10,000 evil orcs from all across the world. I might try to reclaim it at some point, but it's not really a priority. I don't really care too much about it. We also took Tharagrondo, so a bit of a success on that field. And now Gondor only has one more settlement remaining, which is Fanyrond, which I'm still hoping that uh, either the Aradhanaim or Khand, or both of them, will take instead of me, because I'm not really too interested in it. Um, they are kind of ponying up here, so I really hope they're going to go for it. We're also beset on several fronts, or will be at least, uh, by Dol Amroth, however I'm not too concerned about that. Don't care too much about Dol Amroth. I am looking towards capturing Moranon, the lands here, and then Baradur, and then I shall consider our campaign a victory, and I can focus all my efforts on the Arnorian campaign. So we got Lord Saruman the Unstoppable coming over with some of the remnants from this battle here. And also have a big ass army coming over here with Captain Humgrat. And this army will probably cross here, crush that army, and then that will be under the command of the Witch King. So I'm bringing kind of the MVPs of the campaign, namely Saruman himself, the Witch King, and Lurtz. Where was Ugluk? I think he was over here, wasn't he? I, I ended up using him... Not that long ago. He's in Casa Doom, right? Okay, he can stay on that front. I'm kind of happy that we've been using all our, like, most important generals for most of the campaign. Okay, Captain Zugnash. Oh, okay. I would just auto resolve it, but I feel like the game's gonna give me a bad result. 7 to 1 ratio, but, like, I can crush these guys fairly easily. So let's do this one manually, real quick, before we push on to the Black Gate. Okay, there we go. There we go, the Black Gate Invasion Army in all its glory. What a wonderful army, just look at that. It's so nice to have Lurtz in action again. Ah, oh, look at him, what a beautiful man. I guess beautiful isn't really the word to use. Alright, Ballista, you can snipe those trolls. I will give each and every one of you a personal hobbit if you manage to hit a troll. There's a, it's a potential of 12 hobbits to be earned. Come on, boys. Don't let me down, do it for the memes. Reload, take your time. Take your time to aim, don't just fire all willy-nilly. Watch them be out of range. Oh no. That was, uh, you overshot that quite hard. All right, they're gonna be annoying. Camping a hill for no apparent reason. You don't even, do you have any archers? You don't have archers, like, why would you care about a height advantage? Sometimes the AI still like, where the hell are you going? Don't run away. Where the hell are we, anyway? Is it even winter? Why is it snowing? Okay, okay, we're in range, we're in range. My right, Ballista, could you be in any more of an awkward position? You're gonna hit your own friends, aren't you? Shoot the troll! Troll in the dungeon! Hey, someone gets- oh, that's- is that a 2-4? Oh, two hobbits. Ten more to be earned. Who shall claim the hobbits? Yay, there we go. That's taking the hobbits to Isengard. Defeat the trolls. Ah, oh, you guys are so annoying. Come on. Is it this is just a quick warm-up round just to prepare you for the Battle of the Black Gate. They're just trying to tilt you, but you are the untintable. Untintable? Untiltable. I'm very much tintable, trust me. The sun's been out for like a couple days and I think I'm already getting a bit of a sunburn. I, I'm not good with sun. Would you be surprised that the man who spends the entire year recording 30H Total War videos isn't good in the sun? <laughs> also, mosquitoes love me. I don't know why, but I've already been stung by like a million mosquitoes. One actually stung me on like... Like, on your hands, you've got, like, your knuckles. Well, I got a sting, like, right there. It's so annoying. Just two more trolls remaining, boys. It's actually working out really well. Come on. Kill them all. I don't even want to face any trolls in melee. If you can do that, 
Oh, oh, it's promising. It's promising. I could also have all my archers fight on the trolls if I really wanted to. You do as I say. Kill that troll, I do not want to face him in melee. Whoever kills that last troll gets two hobbits instead of one. I mean, he's taken a massive beating, though. Come on, let's get one more volley off. Last shot, last shot, you got this. Run away! I'm gonna let you run away as well. I'm gonna try to withdraw, and hopefully that's faster than physically moving them away. I think it actually is. Feels like it's faster, except these guys, they're just walking. And I think if they get attacked now, they'll be captured. So if I win the battle, the prisoners should return back to me, right? I think. I think that's a thing. Now oh, whatever. If we continue like this, we'll be the coolest boys in all of Isengard. So how are we all doing, anyway? Hope you're all doing well. I'm doing alright, considering. If I want to, I can actually go back to the office starting next week. But I don't really want to. <laughs> I'm perfectly happy working from home. Perfectly happy. I might go back like once in a blue moon, but I'm not going back to working full time in the well, office. I never worked full time in the office. We already had working from home, um, pretty standard, like a couple days a week. But now I think it's going to be more the rule than an exception. Ah, the Black Hooks are routing right into my berserkers. All right, stop fighting. We're just doing friendly fire. There we go. Let's catch them. Make sure we catch them. We don't want those Sauron's will to go to Moranon. So we have to fight them again at the Black Gate. 85%. Yay! Beautiful. Be a beautiful 98 casualties. That's perfectly fine. I now have a nice round number of remaining soldiers. That makes me happy. Alright, let's execute them. Despite the decent ransom value. But money has become meaningless to me. I am part of a post-capitalistic world. Alright, hello Moranon! Are you scared already? Oh, well, you shouldn't be, because you got Olokai. Okay, he might go for Lumgoy. I can win that. Um, uh, I mean, it has to be Saruman that does the battle at Baradur. We have another army of reinforcements coming in. They're pretty poopy, but there's a couple of good units in there. I mean, at this point, we are entering the end game. So I think it's just a matter of now spending all my money I'm just getting reinforcements in case they are necessary. I don't think they will be, to be fair. I think we have enough manpower. Kind of depends on what units uh, Sauron has lurking inside of Mordor. But knowing him, he typically sends them out when they're trained. So I don't think he has too many reserves. So I think at this point, it's just a matter of sending in the troops. Doing the killing. Uh, army barracks, perfect. I can finally retrain those lads. Doing the killing. And then rounding off the campaign. Even though I'll miss it, trust me. Alright, 50% culture, beautiful. Lumkala, what can I build or train? I get a ballista, take that. I can retrain a bunch of stuff here. It's not all useful, but some of it is. Hang on a second, I can be more efficient about this. There we go. Uh, anything else I want to do on this turn? I mean, I guess I can spend my money on like getting some garrison buildings in these settlements where we are kind of likely to get attacked. Give me some peace of mind, you know. Get some roads. Might as well. Uh, 31%. I'll take that. Uh, right, let's press the end turn. I just hope nothing too annoying happens at like Karaz Galathon or Khazadum. I really just want to focus on Mordor. That's kind of the end goal for this campaign. I have nothing left to prove. That's kind of a nice feeling, actually. We're only 112 turns in. I've actually kind of rushed this campaign quite hard. Oh, no, no. Stupid dwarves. If they take it and I kill them again, do they get, like, another horde or not? I really hope they don't get another horde. That would be ridiculously annoying. 
I do have an army at Erui that I could potentially send down, but I might get attacked by those good and the bad and the good orcs. Maybe I have some reinforcements at Edrakan. I'd have to check. Oh, Kazadoom. I really wish you wouldn't go horde. <laughs> like, come on, just let me kill you. How are you the toughest dwarves to kill? Oh, well, they're doing some fighting. They haven't quite taken Fanyonont. Uh, I guess I can take you on. Brawler's Pitting Kazadoom, don't care about that. Okay, bunch of stuff. Alright, Saruman. Do we need to send any forces from here? Mm, not really. Nothing that I really want. Uh, you know what? I think... I think Lumgoy has enough lads to defend. So I'm just going to immediately send Humgrad over to Minas Morgul and push for Keridongul. Alright, it seems Sauron is uh, is on to me. He knows that I'm going to take Moran on, so he's getting a desperate last amount of troops in there, but I don't think it'll be enough, my friend. Have I got a spare catapult somewhere? I've got one here. I would really use a... S ah, there we go. Three turns. Three turns. Get ready for fighting. Okay. Well, I'm not going to wait three turns and then... Relations worse than you don't say. I'm not going to wait three more turns. I'm going to attack it now. Oh, they got a bunch of defenders. Maybe I should wait three turns. <laughs> they got Orkai, they got Trolls. You know what? I'm going to wait three turns. Because that catapult's going to make my life a whole lot easier. <laughs> I'm sorry, boys. I'm sorry. Uh, I just don't want to make stupid mistakes. Oh, frig. They're bringing over more dwarves. Mordor might attack me. Oh, oof. you guys are really a pain in my behind. I can't even get more troops here. I need more money. Who are the dwarves at war with? Is there any potential that these guys might just go attack one another? Or have they like made a bit of a silent peace treaty? They're only at war with the Guldur. Of this gobble of troops here. So, Lagaran of the Neck, you're pretty much dead. Maybe we can get lucky and snipe the faction leader and faction air and let that be the end of it. I mean, there's a dwarven catapult and everything. Or I could send Balakna north. Nah, fuck it. Fuck him. Fuck him. I only cared about Sauron. Oh, you have a catapult as well. I don't have to wait three turns, do I? Maybe. Maybe not. Is that what you want? Is that what you want? I'm kind of sorry for, I guess, blazing through it a little bit, but I'm, I'm just not interested in fighting more dwarves or fighting Dol Guldur. Those battles don't really... I don't know, playing as Isengard, they don't really interest me all that much. Ugh. Uh, is that... Oh, that's Gimli without a helmet. That is quite a sight to behold. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. Well, this is kind of hopeless, but I might just try to assassinate the two generals. <laughs> If I achieve that, we can regicide them, which would be hilarious if that happens. Let's give it a shot, eh? We'll give it our best shot. Let's see what we can do. Okay, so here is the genius. Oh, fuck, I upgraded the settlement. It's no... Oh, I thought it was going to be a strong elvish settlement, but it's a poopy orc struggle. Okay, here's the genius... Oh, they got catapults. Here's the genius of my plan. They got these boys, right? The Zenith Guard. That are pretty small unit. They don't have a lot of dudes. And we'll have Orthanc Screamers. We use the Orthanc Screamers on these boys. Bada bing, bada boom. Let that be the end of it. However, seeing as we have shitty Orc Settlement, and I would really like to use my Ballista to snipe their catapult, but that's probably going to break my game again, just like that other battle. So, it's just a matter of sucking it up and getting fucked hard. Well, it's a good thing I'm an expert in that. Um, whatever. Actually, no, don't fight at will. Uh, actually, no, you go here. Will he be smart enough to use his catapult like a... 
A bonus pater familias. I guess we'll see. I guess we will see. I mean, this battle is hopeless. Oh, wait. I've got Dunlending Horse Boys. I could potentially just try to ram both generals. No, oh, Izzy, you cheeky bum. I am the cheekiest of bums. I think he's just gonna fight at the wall, whatever. If only I could try to, like, manipulate his grape shot to fight on his own army. Wouldn't that just be glorious? Do you have archers? Yeah. Frick, do you have archers on this flank? Yeah. You're smart. That's actually... Hey, what are you firing at? How are you getting hit? What is that catapult doing? Imagine putting your archers in a competent position. Do you have archers? Yeah. The hell, man? They're actually countering me. And they're shooting my archers. Why would you do that? Son of a bitch. Alright, I'm gonna go wide. Like, white Putin. Holy range! I thought you were dwarves. I didn't think you were good archers. But don't chase me, you... Hmm... I don't like these beard boys. I'm just here to assassinate your general. <laughs> like, that's all. Just let me be. I'll kill him, I'll be on my way, and I won't trouble you any further. Come on. Let this be the hour where we exterminate an entire faction with just some dumb-ending horse boys. Who would win? The entire faction of Khazadum? One of the ancient races of Middle-earth? Or dirty boys on a horse? Place your bets right now in the comment section. And let's see how wrong you end up being. Alright, that's the general right here. We're gonna hit him head on, and we're not gonna kill him, because one charge is just not strong enough, unless we get lucky. I think it has a potential of one hitting. Charge! They're not charging. Why are you not charging? You just tickle them. Oh my lord, it's not gonna work when you don't cooperate. I mean, I wasn't expecting much, but you still disappointed me. Incredible. That's the kind of IQ I have to deal with. Retreat! We'll try again soon. Oh no, they're chasing me. He's probably gonna use up all his ammo. Alright, where are you now? You're on the left side. But if he's charging me... I charge us more damage, but I still need to hit him in the flank to hit the general himself, see? However, I'm faster because I'm on a horse and I'm not a midget. Please go to the left of that tree. Okay, just go through the tree, why not? Uh, let's see, is it a good angle? No. Somewhat. We hit him. Pull back. That guy has like a bajillion hit points though. I don't think we've killed anyone. Even though a charge has a potential of one-shotting, I think. What are you even hitting? Oh, you're hitting the wall? <laughs> Whatever. They will pay? What? They haven't really wronged us, you know? We've mostly wronged them. Actually... We killed a couple! Hey! There is always hope! There he is. Oh, come on. Bring forth the prophecy! If only I had horse crossbows. Like Darwinian. Could use some of those boys right now. Okay, well we hit him again. We are doing damage. The wall's down. Should probably move some troops to hold that, eh? Although I can't really beat dwarves in, like, choke point battles. I don't have enough choke me daddy points for that. Alright, this is pathetic. Just losing my lads to friggin' archify. And he's making another hole over here. And he's not even moving, like, he's just chilling. 
Alright, I'll just be back in a little moment uh, until the action really comes forth. Alright boys, it seems that the dwarves are now moving. I just hope they don't bring their catapult. Because if they bring that in the choke point, then we are screwed. Uh, no, that's the wrong unit. Where's the Zenithgard? There they are. So, uh, I haven't been able to kill the general. If I did, I would have showed you, definitely. Uh, so we're going to try to put them in a chokehold and then have the ballista firing on them. Uh, and hopefully we manage to kind of... What the hell is up with that charge? Where did that charge come from? We're going to try to kill the general. That's the only path to victory in this hell of a battle. Will we be successful? Let's find out. He is moving them. Let's see if we can get a cheeky shot in. I'm gonna maybe use my reavers to like flank around like that. Move through the gate and then flank around. That could be potentially a good idea. Alright, let's snipe ourselves some dwarves, eh? Come on, boys. See if we can knock the th crown off their stupid head. Pathetic. <gasps> oh, that was so close. Did you see that? That was painfully close. I will thank Screamers. Hold on to your butts. Hold on to your butts. You guys just need to hold. It's what you're good at. Oh, no, 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 New fire on the Zenith Guard. Whew. Let's kill ourselves. Ball in 2.0. Where is he? Look at the old thanks screamers. They do be looking nice. It's war crime o'clock, baby. They're not really killing the Zenith Guard, though. Don't even know where they are. I mean, we're hitting something. I don't think the Orthanx Screamers are very accurate. It's just a matter of luck to kill the general. 12%'s not bad, actually. Stop farting. Alright, let's call some infighting. I do have more reserves. Oh, there we go. Zenith Guard were in the front. 41. That's still a lot. Alright, let's fight on the back lines. Otherwise, I don't want to because of friendly fire. How good are you guys in melee? 416. That's pathetic. Oh, we killed one Zenith Guard. Beautiful. It's the small things in life. I was originally going to save my raiders, but I think I'm going to use... Or, I'm going to save my reavers, but I think I'm going to use my raiders to do the flank. It won't be enough to route them, but... Eh, might be enough to cause some pain. If you guys could fight. That would be perfect. Oh, they're pushing through. They're doing dirty tactics. By the way, lads, they need our support. And here comes the flanking maneuver, which will be completely outdated because they've already pushed forth so hard. And um, boys, could you calm down a little bit? Hey, nice shot. I mean, at this point, I'd just be happy if we can kill one army. Oh, they still had reserves. Curses. Look at a shield wall bullshit. That's not supposed to work that well. Okay, well... I don't think we need to kid ourselves. This battle is freaking hopeless. <laughs> hopeless, I tell ye! Shoot the deeping guard. My infantry has no hope of killing them. There we go. Because our sentries, they will crush me. Even if I get a beast, I'll just crush me. Make no mistake. If only these guys were armed with more than just a butter knife. 
stupid alchemists. Oh, hello, Kazatsindri. I think he's had enough of the battle. He's like, peace, boys. What the fuck was that, dude? Are you, what, what? Are you guys blind? I think I need to buy my Urukai some glasses. I think I've done too much inbreeding in the pits of Isengard and they just lost all eyesight. I think they need some correction spectacles. Oh, lord. Seventh guard. 34. <laughs> They've barely lost anyone. Alright, can I just shoot my own units? End this madness. I just want to have the one shot of shooting the Zenith Guard. Shooting the General. Even if you have to kill friendlies, I don't care. No, I don't care. Is there like activate order 66? I don't care about friendly fire. You do it. You do what I say. The Nazgul have failed me. Shoot! God damn it! That is an order! We are being attacked. Points for observation. Um, and we held out. Pfft, nah. I was gonna say we held out alright, but. Ah, <gasps> oh, I thought that was maybe a genital kill. Oh, is he gonna rub it in? Is he gonna try to kill my ballista with. Aww, oh, that's, that's just mean. That is just mean. No, I mean, it's, it's, it's over, guys. Damn it, now the dwarves have another foothold. I hate these dwarves. They're just so damn tough. <laughs> just die and stay dead. I've already, like, uh We took them out of khazad then we took them out of Ruin, now they're, like, back again. Our enemy has of the they're like the Slim Shady of Middle-earth, pretty much. Which is really unfortunate. And this time hasn't really done anything. And now they're moving in. Took you long enough. Only half the enemy force remains. Just kill the general. Please give me that one small victory in the face of defeat. Nah, that's not. That's Laggardin of the Neck. I think he no longer has a neck, technically. I think it's Laggardin of the Decapitation right now. Alright. You guys are alright, considering you're a poopy tier unit against a decent unit. But alas, it was not meant to be. What I could have used was about 10 times the army size and a catapult. And maybe then I would have stood a better chance. But right now... Hopeless! Ugh. Perhaps I must pull Ugluk out of retirement as well. We don't talk about this. We just don't. I mean, the Ballista killed quite a few of them. But that's pretty much, uh, that's pretty much it. Ugh, I can't even afford it, dwarves. Damn. Like, I feel like this campaign has just taken a dark turn because we've lost, like, a couple battles in quick succession. Like, morale's at an all-time low. But we're still winning the wars. It's just these small grievances, small annoyances. Yeah, I wish I could just raise these settlements to the ground and just not have to defend them. Leave me alone. I mean, you got your stupid settlement, but I still hold your mountain, bro. Oh, you're cock-blocking me at Minas Morgul? Really? Oh, and he moved the army away from Lumgoy. That's kind of worrisome. Where the hell are you going? Oh, hello, goblins. You too. Everyone hates me. <laughs> Come on, I'm just a lo lovely Belgian lad. Why? How could you hate me? What have I ever done wrong to you? Stupid goblins. I was your friend. No one else was. I was nice to you. <sighs> I was nice to you! Crying out loud. Get ready for Wait, two sieges? Oh, yeah. I mean, that's more good. Okay, so is that ready. other army? Ready oh. I'm gonna stick you. Where did you come from? Not sure. However, now I'm like, perhaps I should just fight it, because otherwise they are going to get reinforcements, and I want to fight. I want to fight at the Black Gate. I mean, that's kind of the the entire cinematic purpose of this, right? It would be kind of lame if we do the Battle of Maranon and not fight at the Black Gate. So I guess we'll just go in. It might lead to more casualties, but damn, it will be cinematic. And I need to exert some revenge after the past couple defeats. Here we are, boys. The Black Gate. 
Let's ram it down and seize the land. It does look quite nice. Although we spawn quite far away, so I'm gonna have to uh, have to do some walking, even though they don't really care about defending the the wall itself, which is kind of silly. It would be cool if they could like develop specific AI for specific settlements, you know? Be like, okay, when you're playing here, you want to make sure you put troops like this, like that. Like, for specific settlements like Minas Tirith and Helm's Deep, that could be cool. But alas. I guess you need to kind of know what units the AI would have to program it like that, and it's impossible to predict. Oh, Olokai. More Olokai and regular trolls. I love how the Olokai get, like, real proper maces. And then they were like, eh, you just use this wood. This table post, you use that. Have fun with that. Alright. Let's get the lads in position, break down the gate, uh, put my own arches on the wall, probably, and then use my ballista to snipe as many of them as possible, lure them to my position, shoot them, kill them. That's the plan. If they don't end up pushing out, my ballista will just have free reign. We'll kill as many of the Olokai as possible. Waltz in there, shoot the rest of them. Bada bing, bada boom. That's how you win the battle. Alright, knock down the gate. Should be close enough not to miss any shots. How strong is the Black Gate if it can just be taken down by one ballista crew? It is pretty sturdy, but not sturdy enough to stop. I hope. Uh, about a quarter down. We got more than a quarter left, right? Are you all hitting though, actually? No. You're under shooting. How do you... Come on, man. I really do need to look into prescription glasses for my troops, like... You're still missing some shot. How do you... Like, why focus on, like, this corner when the gate's, like, that big? Oh, lord, I'm not gonna have any ammo left. There goes my strategy. Okay, I'll have a little bit left. Alright, one more volley. No, oh, you wasted three shots. Are you gonna try and hold? Doesn't seem like it. Have I got any jabbies by any chance? No, I don't. Shame. Alright, troops on the wall. Take the damn gate for ourselves. And let's line up the infantry. I'll just kind of... Just kind of line them up like that. Oh, frick. Well, you're an aggressive lad, aren't you? They're already coming forth. Not even giving me the time to set up. Well, archers, I really want you to get in position. Come on. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. If you can go on the walls, that would be perfect. Berserkers, you can maybe go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Olokai? If any unit can, it's definitely you. Get on the wall, get on the wall, hurry, hurry, hurry! I said hurry, not stop! Come on! Cardio! Run! I know it's a lot of stairs. Not fast enough indeed! Go, go, go! Go! There's still time. I mean, they're only sending in their Olokai, which kind of makes it easy for us to overwhelm them with just Reavers. Reavers and Berserkers. Easy enough. Spearguard, not a great unit to deal with. Squeeze through, I wish I could open... Just imagine if you could actually use the Black Gate. I know it's it's completely impossible to mod that in, but like, it would look so good. Alright, Berserkers versus Olokai, who would win? I think the Berserkers might just take it. Oh, not like that. That's still that initial charge, though. I have to get the bean guard in there. Just everything that's armor piercing, pretty much. Alright, get in position! Damn, what an epic fight. The black gate in the distance, just a bunch of white hand banners. Look at that. The dust settle for a moment. Alright. Wait. What? You got functioning ballista towers? What? Since when? <laughs> I didn't know the Black Gate had functioning ballista towers. Though it does seem they're only fighting on the outside. Still, they're killing my ballista crew, which is a little bit annoying. Fight away, fight away. If you're already in position, then just fight. 
position doesn't have to be perfect, just good enough. Alright, Spigard. Are you fighting? Oh, come on. As much as I love this game, the siege just sometimes gets to me. <laughs> just get to position. Don't worry about our casualties. The Olakai are tough to kill, but it's just because they got so many hit points. They will go down. No, wait, actually, Ballista Crew, you can't run away. I still need you. Just stay away from the Ballista Towers until we've killed the uh, Varek Lances. And Trolls. Okay, the Olakai are, I think, finally going down. Where are you going? Don't just stand there and get kicked by trolls. Fight back, you fools. That's kind of a cool angle. Oh, no, it needs to be a little bit higher. There we go. This is kind of a cool angle. Yes, nice. Alright, even Lurtz is in here. Alright. Archers, we're gonna take control of this entire section here. My backup. Keep running on there. Damn, these trolls have uh, really taken a lot out of my army. You know, I was thinking my berserkers could solo them. <laughs> I guess I have a little bit too much faith in my berserkers. Okay, not yet, not yet. Tanky boys, tanky, tanky, tanky boys. I keep running to get in position. Wonderful. It's almost decent. Look at that. That could be the name of my autobiography. Almost decent. The Tale of Izzy. <laughs> would you buy my autobiography? I hope you guys would, right? The first piece of Izzy merch, just like a book of like a thousand pages. There, enjoy that one. You wanted Timothy shirts? No, you get book. Literature. 13% already down does kind of sting a little bit. As in, it hurts my soul quite badly. And they got another regiment of Olokai, are you kidding me? Oh lord, I really thought we had them all now. Well, that's where the Ballista Crew comes in, I suppose. This entire strategy does re kind of revolve around them coming forth a little bit, but not too far to trigger the Ballista Towers. Okay, just two Olokai, just surround them, kill them. He just kicked so hard he flew in the air. They're taking a lot of hits though. There we go, dead. And you should soon join them. There's no Timothy, that's for damn sure. Alright, run to your Ballista, grab it. Archers, you're all in position, right? Kinda. It's the most riggedy ass way to go about this. Alright, kill that last troll, please. Not you. Jesus. It took like half the time just to kill those dudes. But there's more. Damn you, Billy Madison. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's get just a regiment of, like, spear guard to hold the line. Get some reserves in there. Crack that pretty skulls. I wouldn't call their skulls pretty, but hey. To each their own, I suppose. And then we're gonna have the ballista crew. No, take up your ballista. Pick up arms and pick up victory! And you are going to get in position there, and you're going to try to lure them to me. And then my boys, they can shoot all the way up to here. So you grab that ballista. There we go. Whew! It's going to be a long fight. Come on! Forth and fear no darkness. 
And let's snipe an Olokai. Or two. Please hit the Olokai. Boop. Wow, he actually shrugged that off? I thought Ballistas were always wanted kills. But he lived through that. Lad got hit by a Ballista and he just... Eh, I've had worse. <laughs> what a dude. I think I might have to change my plan up a little bit. I was just hoping we could hit... Maybe if I turn on... Well, it's too late now. Poor guy. If I turned on fire mode... Ooh, is that one hit enough to lure them to my position? Please, please, please. If I can just have a ranger party. Feels like I'm playing the Nose and Dunedain campaign. Alright, I think I'm going to pull out one arch unit. Like... Just here. Have them fire. Maybe that's enough to lure them to my defensive position where my archers can then rain hell down upon the the enemy and potentially my own lines as well. So these guys are probably going to use like a very awkward fighting angle, I can already tell. Even though it should be perfect. But right, I need to keep an eye on the timer though, so lads, if you can get in position that would be wonderful. Who's- whoa, 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 whoa! I pressed withdraw? Why'd you run over there, you fools? Okay, that's a first. What the fuck was that? I was like, I saw like the, the, the swords, I was like, how are you in melee? Like, who's fighting you? Alright, so far so good. It's a lot of free kills. If you're not moving, either way I can use up all my ammo. Come on. And crossbows, I want you guys ready to hit those Olokai. Otherwise we're screwed. Yes, they're stuck on the stakes. The <laughs> defenses are working against them. Alright, pull back. We have Lord the Olokai. A hail of arrows. Hey, I think that was the one that was already wounded, yeah. No, oh, oh, fuck, 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 I'm an idiot. I just made the same mistake. Don't withdraw in that direction. Where is the crossbow? Oh, they're all the way on that side. They're like in the worst position. Keep fighting. Hurt them. Hurt them. Make them say ow. Alright, timer's gonna be a bitch. I need to get rid of those Olokai. Alright, the crossbows are fighting. That's gonna speed things up. Oh, so even these guys are in range. That's odd. I think it just thinks most of them are in range, so everyone's fighting, even though they might not physically be in range. Come on. Take down the Olokai. And I'm a lot less fussed about the others. Alright, you fired on the other guys. The crossbows will take care of the Olokai. As well as the Reavers. Where are Reavers? There are Reavers. Wait, they're... Towers are firing, really? Really, your towers are firing? What is that range? They're over there. They're not even close to my lines. I mean, they're kind of close, I suppose. Kind of surprises me. Alright. We need to get those Olokai down, and we also need to make sure they are not closer, because then their towers are going to keep fighting at me. Overwhelm the Olokai. Yeah, I need to keep an eye on the timer badly. I've said that like five times now, but it's becoming ever more pressing. Wow, I had such good plans for this battle, and, and everything is just going tits up. Well, we're learning, right? Are we? I don't know. We should be learning. <laughs> That's a relief. Let's pop the Uruk Tide to kill the Olokai faster, I hope. Lurts up against Olokai, that seems like a great idea, is he? Watch me kill off Lurts. He just came out of retirement and everything. Alright, at least we have a good, like... I like this camera angle, actually. Oh, they still have so many dudes! 21% plus 17%, damn. That's a lot of dudes. Okay, that 21 or 18 
percent we've killed is mostly Olokai and other tough, tough, tough foes. It's just a matter of finally getting those Olokai down. There we go. They're dropping now. They're running on low on hit points. Can't even speak anymore. I'm so baffled by the beating I'm receiving. And then we can focus on the weaker units. Which my units should just crush with these. And I also outnumbered him so I can do some flanking maneuvers. Which I can't really do against all the Kai because they love being surrounded pretty much. That's just their fighting style. It's a way of life for these boys. My archers are running low on ammo so... I can't even think of any fancy strategies anymore because I don't have the flexibility to do so. So that's kind of a good thing. That means I can't make any dumb plays. Come on, Olokai. Guys are tanky as all hell. That Ballista Tower is also a problem. But as soon as the Olokai are dead, Ballista Tower should no longer be of any concern. Uh, it's tanky, tanky, tanky. And if they want to cluster up like that, I'll happily bring in my archers. These are just defenders and Black Widow, so... You can just surround them there. There we go. One more. It's already sent forth our troops here. Guess timer. Where the hell do you think you're going? I'm not done with you. Oh, boys. I you fight on them. Right there in the center, Bobo. Right there in the center. Wow, this battle sucks. <laughs> I screwed up so badly. Oh, man. A catapult would have solved like 90% of my issues. As it would have killed 90% of the enemy. Kind of correlates, you know. Alright, I just surround them, like... There's n no other really fancy way to go about this. We surround them. They've gotten themselves in the pretty awkward position. So that kind of works for us. Something like the Bane God, for example. Oh, hello, Olokai. Circle them. More lads, more lads. You can fight in an angle. It's kind of awkward, but it doesn't matter. If you're not doing anything, you're a lazy bum. And I have the right to fire you. Go, go, go. Come on. I think Uruktai makes my units more exhausted, but they're already dead tired, so... Can't get more tired if you're already exhausted, right? Fancy strategies with Izzy. Mm, I don't like this. There's so many of them. Like, there really is just so many of them. That's the problem. Come on. That timer is not looking great because we still have to kill 70%. But they are just slightly weaker orcs and fatty axe, etc. No trolls. Not anymore. Damn, those other guys really took so much time to kill. Move around. Who are you guys and why are you losing so many dudes? I have no idea. Also, these very glances are literally not dying. Alright, I'm gonna pull back alerts because he's gonna die. I have a hard time killing them, like... They must all be wearing some pretty high tier armor, I think, because... 13 defense... 16 defense, like... Yeah, yeah. I am being kind of out quality, which is not great. Oh, Uruk Bodyguard. Let's kill him. Set up against my Berserker unit, that's perfect. 
I might lose this battle. I really should have brought better units. Okay, okay. Don't worry, Izzy. Don't worry. It's just a matter of time. Way too stronger. Or defenders or black Odux? Black Odux. Not that it matters. These guys are just fighting up in the sky and seeing whatever sticks. But at you, archers, if you can like position yourselves here, you'd have a pretty good angle. Damn, this very glance is also not dying. This is not looking great. Do I have any reserves? Yo, you guys. This is not looking great at all. <laughs> Actually, you guys. If I move you there. You can fire it here, that would be wonderful. Damn these orcs, man. Like, being guards, just not being able to destroy Vedic Lancers is worrisome. It's like my AP doesn't do anything against them. Alright, Duric Bodyguard's going down pretty fast though against my Berserker, so that's good news. We might be able to get a kill on General, but they're on the town square, so they're gonna have infinite morale anyway. Alright, just get them first. And if you can position yourselves there. I'm not liking this timer though. And here I was stupidly thinking things would become easier if we killed the trolls. <laughs> oh lord. Alright, 60% 46. Fuck! What am I doing in this campaign, man? Things are going so well and uh, now it's just defeat after defeat. You guys, fire, come on. Grab your bows, fire. Like we need to push in more. There we go, kinda. Ooh, bounce power is dropped. This is not good. And the encirclement is pretty much complete now. But it's mostly good for morale, which doesn't really apply here. Because they have infinite morale in the town square. Alright, these Vareg Lancers, however, are ridiculously strong. Keep fighting. Oh lord, that timer. Unless I manage to push them off the town square, which does not seem feasible at all. I might just have to cut my losses. Oh, freak man. Wasn't expecting that. I need some victories. Like, <laughs> this campaign's going awful all of a sudden. I think I've just grown too cocky. Too blasé. Hmm. I think maybe if I wouldn't have to worry about the timer, I would win it. But the timer, I think, is gonna... Screw me. Not on a fun way. Although we are just losing lots of lads. Decent amount of friendly fire, I imagine. Is that the town square that we hold? That's no, that's probably the timer just to for the battle to end. Yeah. No. Damn. That really sucks. And no knowing the AI and how blatantly they cheat on that regard, they'll probably like replenish half that army. Wow. What a setback. I wasn't expecting that. I was not expecting that. The Olokai gave me so much to chew on. I thought with them being sent out first, I would be able to surround them and kill them relatively quickly with minimal casualties, but that was not the case at all. I should probably just exit the battle at this point to save lives, but I'm not about that life. I got two minutes to kill about uh, a thousand orcs. <laughs> Hopeless. And perhaps we wouldn't even win this battle even without the timer. Wow, I got my ass handed to me. Three times in a row now. I must say, I must admit, that stings. That really does sting. My pride is getting uh, just 
Absolutely busted. I got outplayed. I absolutely got outplayed. I lost Lurtz. We lost Lurtz at the Black Gate. Damn it. I'm still not sure where that one army next to... Um, the one army that was about to attack us came from. I have no idea. If that army hadn't arrived, I would have been more patient and waited for the reinforcements and a catapult to arrive. And if I had one catapult, we wouldn't be having this conversation, I can tell you that much. Wow, fuck. Hmm. Wow, okay, I'm speechless. We ran out of time. So we just call it a draw then? No? Clear defeat? Oh, lord. How? How, how, how? But look at the casualties inflicted. We barely did anything. Like the archers, I think that's probably these archers that I used at the end, but everyone else just not that much. I feel like all my troops underperformed hard. Like Orkman Bane Guard is supposed to be pretty good, right? Barely did anything. Reavers losing 200, killing 35. Like, that's just bad trades. Damn. I guess I just... Yeah. I have no excuses for this. That was... That was dreadful. Wow. I am absolutely devastated. Well, we got a new faction here. First Captain Gorna. Who the hell is that? And why is it not Ugluk? It's just this random guy. <laughs> okay. Wow, boys. Wow. This was supposed to be our glorious breakthrough. Where we finally... At least they're dealing with Fang and Alvani. Where we finally push through Black Gate, you know, seize the lands, push on from there. And instead, it's just sadness and defeat. Oh, God. I will never financially recover from this. I mean, I'm not one to give up that easily, though. We are going to push once more. And this time, we're bringing a catapult and just a whole lot better troops. I made the mistake of giving Lurtz poopy units. I will not repeat that mistake. I can't repeat that mistake because Lurtz is dead. But I'm getting Saruman involved now and I'm giving Saruman the craziest army ever. Alright, bring in more reinforcements as well now that we're here. Wonderful. Uh, so I'm going to give him the best of the best. And they're going to take Moranon easily. We'll push them back. Give them some reinforcements. We got more troops just coming in constantly. Oh lord, this campaign. I really dropped the ball. I'm going to be the first to admit it. I've just been so focused on, on rounding off the campaign that I've just been making minor mistakes which have eventually snowballed into this. Just kind of assuming my troops would be good enough when they just really weren't. Oh lord. I'm not giving this campaign the attention it deserves. And that is totally my bad. Alright, um... I mean, can I get more troops? Can I get some Berserkers? I got these lads that I'll send to care of Bob Ross. Can I get anything at Minas Tirith? I can! Uh, boop, 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 boop. Retrain them and... What's the culture like? 64, let's build a... Whoops. Guard Barracks. And let's save the rest of our cash. For a little bit. See what they will throw at me in this turn. Even though I should be rounding off the episode, but I feel like I can't I can't end two episodes in a row with like a massive defeat. Damn man. Out of nowhere Mordor is giving me trouble. <laughs> Actually proving to be harder to kill. Hey, hang on a moment. I s did you see on the minimap there's like a crown again? That means Casa Doom went horde again. What? Did they lose um what's it face? The one settlement again. And the goblins, have they lifted their siege? No, it's still in the siege. So perhaps the Guldur or the Orcs of Gundabad have kicked out the dwarves. Things are moving in a very weird way. And I think right now I'm kind of suffering the repercussions from rushing so hard in the beginning. Because we're only 114 turns in. I've already have a lot of territory. I'm not actually concerned about not being able to round off this campaign. Don't worry about that. Oh, this one rebel, what? Did they just not take the settlement? I guess they didn't take the settlement. Alright, well you go fight Karaz Galathon. I don't care at all. That's no longer my concern. Hello, Radzag. 
Jesus. At least he's running out of units to train, it seems. So I'm gonna get this army. Because this army is overall just better. I'm gonna give it to Saruman. Plus... An extra catapult. Uh, uh, if you guys go home for retraining. Right, you go chill here. That's a lot of archers. Uh, bloop. Wait, how many spots? Four. One, two, three, four. I'll take two Bane Guard. They've knocked back one army, but now I'm back, and I'm angry. That's a po oh, why is the boss power in the middle? I thought this would be easy. <laughs> no. Oh, frick. More <laughs> so many Olokai. Oh, man. Am I going to lose Sodomon? Knowing my luck right now? Probably. All right. It's actually just the sheer spam of Olokai that's, that's doing me in right now. It's the one unit I don't really have a counter to. Uh, like, crossbows and AP is the best for it, but I lack, like, a proper elite AP. Oh, the Nazkai, I suppose, come kind of close. Uh, no, I'm actually just gonna... I need to be smart about this. I haven't been smart in a long time. Uh, missiles. I got a decent amount of missiles. Got some crossbows as well. It's alright. Bloop. Infantry. What have I got in terms of infantry? I got spear guard. I've got one unit of infantry, one unit of pikes. So I'm thinking... Bloop. 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 Just a strong line of infantry, main line here. And then Bane Guard on the flank. You know what I miss? That would actually save me a lot of trouble. Knights of the White Hand. I feel like that's where I failed the most. Just getting good army get-ups. I've just kind of been throwing whatever I can train into the fray and it's just not been working. But we got Nazkai, which is kind of nice. Nice high. Alright. Hit him where it hurts. If you can hit the Olokai, I'd be very, very happy. By the way, boys. Yeet. Hit an Olokai? Aw, oh, close. Alright. Strap it in, lads. Strap it in. Like the Orc scam, I'm not too too fussed about, but the Olokai. Now those lads. Nice. Gotta hit the Olokai if you can. It says you're in range, so you better be. Pick them apart. Wow, oh, Salomon, you have incredible range. Who are you hitting? There's no one in range. Oh, whatever. Hit the Olokai, please. You'd make me very, very happy. Those guys, they're like the only thing currently keeping me away from Sauron. Sauron's will matters not. Black Oduk's pathetic. But there's damn Olokai. I need a strong troll counter of my own. Trolls of the white hand, that's what I need. If only. I keep hitting the Olokai. Nice. Actually hit the Uruk bodyguard there. Alright, the Olokai are getting in range of... My crossbows potentially, they come a little bit closer. Hit, aim for the Black Uruks, we might hit some Olokai. I feel like my catapults aren't hitting, or even getting close to hitting Olokai. Which is kind of infuriating. Saruman, if you can hit Olokai, that'd be wonderful. There we go. Alright, well the Olokai are just too angry to die, even though I've shot them a million times. They should be kind of weakened. Pull back, it's gonna be too late. I'm a moron, I'm a moron. Suffer consequences. Hey, it wasn't terrible timing. 
Was that friendly fire? That sounded like friendly fire. I don't know why. It's not like it makes a different sound. But I just felt it in my gut. Whoa, are those guys actually just pushing through? Can't do that. That's illegal. I popped my voice way too early, but I panicked. Fuck. I'm making so many bad plays. Pull back. God's sake, kill those Olokai. Bane of my existence. Pain in my ass. Royal pain in my ass, mind you. Oh, damn, there's just so many of them as well. I never thought Mordor would give me this much trouble compared to Gondor. Well, I don't have any excuses now. I kept saying in the last battle, if only I had catapults. I've got catapults now. I'm still struggling. Do bear in mind they've got more trolls coming in. Just imagine they're an army full of trolls. Maybe I should use my old thanks screamers on the trolls? Although I'm not sure if they actually do good against them. We have work to do. You have lots of work to do killing those Olokai. There come Olokai. Hmm. I'm gonna have to have my Berserker solo the Olokai. Not fantastic. Well, at least these Olokai are finally going down. But by god, are they tough. Right on the trolls. I feel like my catapults and ballista just aren't doing all that much. And you guys are being cock blocked there. Uh, where are my Nazkai? Nazkai, Nazkai. Can you, like, focus on this troll? Thank you. Come on, hit the trolls! Berserk is up against Olokai. I think you might be able to 1v1 them. Hit them! I've killed someone. I've killed Radzag. That's the general of the main force. That's pretty good. Might be able to route like the the plips. I imagine the captain will be on the Vega glances. Oh, there's two Vega glances. Never mind. Right, let's see if we can use your thanks screamers on the Olokai. Let's see that you can protect the catapult. Alright, those trolls are going down. We got more Olokai. More Olo what? Another one? Calm down, DJ Khaled. Does that one hit kill Olokai? No, they really don't care. Fucking hell, mate. Too many Olokai. Turning this campaign into a, a very difficult one all of a sudden. A very, very difficult one. But yeah, I should have saved my uh, Way of the Voice a little bit longer. Power of the Voice, whatever it's called. Way of the Voice is a different game, is he? Nice. Although, oh, my Urukai infantry are getting destroyed. The thing is, I'm just kind of worried that after this battle, like, another army will pop up with, like, another four units of Olokai, and I, I just can't keep up with that. That's so tough to kill. Like, I just need way more than Asukai to kill Olokai. Good. Although I don't have Calf to run them down. I really need Calf. Badly. And now we just, once again, have to clean up Olokai. Like, these OG Olokai are still alive, for example. They just don't die. They just do not die. 
It's in Solomon in melee, I suppose. He has uh, an armor piercing weapon. There we go. Charge! Screw you, lads. I hope that's the captain. Damn, these battles are hectic. I'm sweating. Kind of of the heat, but also kind of because this battle is all over the place. Like these Olokai, man. I can't stress it enough. They are humiliating me. How are we looking? 26% for 54%. That's alright for this battle, and I do have some reinforcement. I f Something tells me I'm going to face even more Olokai before they even reach the Black Gate, and then they'll have more Olokai at the Black Gate again. Because I'll probably heal most of them. <laughs> there I go. Shoot them some flesh, although they like flesh. It's kind of counterproductive. I guess they'll be busy eating it. Hey, actually, I think that's the first time I've seen a catapult route a unit because of the, the fleshy, fleshy stuff. I wonder if it stacks. If we get like 20 catapults flying at the same time, could you like just route armies immediately? That would require some testing. Alright. Evil Gandalf. Uh, once again, it's just the Olokai remaining, really. Everyone else is already effed off. Alright, my Berserkers are dead. They've taken care of that. The battle is very much in Pull back the Screamers. The They're just Olokai fodder if they catch you. Yeah, pull back. Alright, Dunnet Slayers, I think you're pretty good in melee against trolls, I would assume. Maybe you got a bonus against them, let's see. Doop -doop -doop. Bonus against horses, camels, wargs, and elephants. I mean, they're kind of like a big horse, I suppose. If you squint your eyes quite hard. I can't believe I lost a full Urukai infantry unit. Like, what even killed you? Oh, maulers, they're up against maulers. Hmm. I suppose that explains it. Damn, dude, these Olokai. I can only assume they're fully armored. 38 defense, they probably are. 49 attack. Oh, lord. They're just a problem. And I just don't see any better way of dealing with them than siege equipment and crossbows. And it's just not enough, because we did that. And they made it to my lines just fine. Oh, they made it there just fine. And also surround them with AP units, but also that, that doesn't work. Alright, Saruman. You've got a nice AP infantry unit right now. So put it to good use. These guys. Tough, tough, tough. Like everyone else is almost routing, it's just... Just the trolls that are ruining my day. Alright, there we go. Set him on cleaning house. That lost the trolls? I think so. Oh, we still have the Nazkai, I suppose. I think that's my only proper counter to uh, Olokai spam. We're like only 100 end turns in, keep that in mind. Like, imagine if you're Gondor at this point in the campaign. Like, oof. Alright, anyway, the battle's over. They still have 69% remaining, which is cool on one hand, but I lack cavalry to run them down, unfortunately. So, let's see. 27%. Yeah. I mean, this army will be gone, I think. Uh, but this army will definitely still uh, retreat. Damn, 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 damn. Like, my, my Urukai infantry. Yeah, they really underperformed. Like, rough battles, man. Just really, really hard. Really hard. Alright, uh, excuse them. I have no patience for you. Yeah, you pull back. Alright, uh, well, let's keep pushing to the Black Gate, I suppose. Time for some vengeance. Uh, where's my spy? Tell me, have they already put up new... new oh my... I don't want to look. Oh, I see great beasts. Uh, no Olokai. Well, that's something. Oh, I can get some mercenaries. Oh, I can get walk maulers. Get some orc molders, why not? 
Just for shits and giggles. Hey, welcome to the crew, boys. Alright, well, I think I have to round off the episode here. I can't say I'm happy with it, to be fair. Things are just not going the way I wanted to. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if it's me who's playing bad, probably, or if I'm just getting getting shafted. But this, this campaign has taken a dark turn. For some reason, I have started to struggle whilst having a reasonably easy time up until this point. But right now, I think I've officially reached the point where I've overextended and I'm just fighting too many wars on too many fronts and I'm just not concentrating my, my recruitment as I should be. So I hope I still have enough steam power to push all the way to Baradur and end the campaign. Otherwise, well... I don't know. <laughs> but thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode regardless. I mean, it is kind of fun to have to, to be struggling, I think. Uh, it's more fun than me just steamrolling the entire campaign without any opposition. So it's nice that we're hitting a bit of a, a bit of a wall. It's a shame we lost Lurtz right at the end of uh, an episode that I started by bragging about how many generals we still have alive. So, uh, yeah, we don't talk about that. And I hope to catch you for episode 28.